Uh, hello, uh, four pit champions in waiting, uh, and everyone else uh, who watches Masanda Wana Fan Vlog. Any, anyone else who bothers themselves with Masanda Wana Fan Vlog, uh, welcome to another edition of uh, Masanda Wana Fan Vlog uh, review and player ratings. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the preview. Uh, guys are about to, uh, they're two episodes away from their probation after uh, five episodes, two or, or one, two episodes. I think one more. One more. Yeah, uh, we'll decide if we're keeping them or <laughs> we're binning them. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> especially times we can rope in uh, Rappelang for, for, for the rest of the shows, but especially Yeah, no, no. Rappelang has passed this audition like with flying colors. All of us got and we are the jury's still out. That guy made eight changes to Team Eroto Mangaji. Who makes eight changes? <laughs> There's a bit of a top. Anyway, uh, yeah, do 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 content for the boys. Yeah, do content as always. Um, I'm enjoying it. Ah, uh, uh, well, we missed um, one episode. We were supposed to do a review and play ratings for the Champions League game on Saturday, but decided to go play the game on uh, some stupid. App. Mm, yeah. and <laughs> we missed about 60 minutes of the game i mean made it made it difficult for us to to yeah. watch the game so in we couldn't we can't review what we, could, we couldn't see so we can't come here and lie exactly exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah but yeah. that to be back that to be back with three points in the league our bread and butter of course of course uh i told Skomo, uh at the beginning of the, of uh Season. This is a season of goals, goals, goals. Those are my words. Goals, goals, goals. I pray it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, man. I mean, you know, it, the only thing we have to care about is who's coming in, who's playing, uh, who's injured, who's. The point is a the is a certain as. It is on good clean sheet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On, that's, that's 10 clean sheets in how many games? And um, we've played 16. I think he's played 15, right? 15 or 13? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can one? yeah. But yeah, happy with the three points. Um, and, um, okay with the performance if I take the two halves into, con- into consideration, but we'll get to it. Your your thoughts on the lineup? Uh, my thoughts on the lineup. Uh, I expected to see AJ start today. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, I expected to see Masinde back four. I expected to. I didn't expect it to change. Midfield I expected Blazer to start. Riva to start. Uh, I expected AJ to start uh, ahead of Mvala. Uh, and the front three, I expected what we saw. So yeah, I expected only one change. Um, I expected AJ to start ahead of uh, Motobi, but I, I'm I'm not shocked at the starting lineup. I'm not mm. shocked at it. I I I I was and it was an actionary more than thinking thinking it through because I I I didn't understand why Motobi Bala played ahead of AJ or an attacker where. Barakot home, we knew that what pretty much what they were gonna do. So I thought maybe we'd go two in midfield. Um the surprising part I I, I dropped in my head, I dropped um Blesser, but he pulled the man of the match performance for me. Um I had dropped US craziest tabbies. US craziest tabbies. <laughs> I dropped him and I had I had our four attackers on on the pitch, uh, considering what Barakot were gonna do. But yeah, like like I, I didn't expect Mutumbala to start at home against Baroka after the mistake, the earlier mistakes here TTM, Kalanapa TTM. Remember Kalanapa TTM? Yes. I thought that the coaches did the same, the same mistake. Luckily, after 55 minutes, they fixed it. Mm. Mm. And um, hey, the funniest thing for me is the majority of the people I see on Twitter talking about this Mbimvara and AJ thing 
who said Hore, <laughs> Toby is okay? My thing is, Toby went out in the fifth minute, but AJ didn't come on. Come, come in, true. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So we could say, can I can I interrupt you? So we could say, like, yeah, AJ is the police. Then what? For me, I think I think Mkulisi is playing ahead of AJ. For me, I think Mkulisi is playing ahead of AJ. You raise a very good point. You raise a very good point. It could be. It it, it really could yeah. be. Because think about it. When we play midfield two, <laughs> some Toby and Zaviva and Mkulisi. So who's, who's really playing ahead of AJ there? No, it sounds like we are. We, we are. It sounds a bit crazy because I said Toby ahead of AJ, but it's not as, as black and white as, as how that sounds. Because okay, yeah, Toby starts and AJ doesn't, but Toby and AJ and competing for like it's like Toby is not AJ's only competition and vice versa. AJ is not Toby's only competition. Um, I think Blesser is also AJ's uh, competition. And yeah. so you could say those three, along with, um, okay, we saw that uh, Mido is uh, Ruba's placement. Maybe Thombo, yes. Mutobi, and Mangamari. Thombo, uh, Mutobi, uh, AJ, and Kulisi Mangamana fighting for two spots, the five of them. If we go through a little level, if I had a right back, you could see you could say two, they're fighting for two spots in the system that the coaches prefer, which is what we, we see now, unless they change it. Yeah, more other game. But yeah, you're yeah, right. You, 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 you raise a very good point. I uh, sorry, game Motobi versus AJ. It could be yeah. AJ versus anyone. Yeah, but, you know, in most of the games that. We chased the game like whoa, Marisberg, where we wanted to get a winner. And the games that we've won, second half, like Leopards, like this game, we won when we resorted to a midfield two and a ticking four. Why are we not going back to that system? I understood, like, when we played the first uh, six, seven games. We we played a F for two uh, diamond with him, with Mshishi at the tip of the diamond, but Mshishi has lost the blistering form he started the season with, and I think Mshishi can still do what he does in a four two two, two or in a four. You, you can call it a four two four or a four. Four two three one. You know what I mean. Oh, it's very flexible. Think, yes, I think we are better off with the midfield too, and like four attackers. As, as I I I one hundred percent agree with you, especially at home against these lesser sides. There is no need for three midfielders against these lesser sides. Just just no, play your but, but no, in every team that plays against them, there's a lesser side. True. That's true. true. <laughs> That's true. But but against against the filth, like the bottom half table, the bottom half the uh, Premier League, your yeah. Pelicans, but uh, that you you play, you'd rather play AJ and um Kulisi like 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 we played Gachipa or yeah. even AJ, even Kulisi. There is no need for to play what we played Cafe staff today. Mm. I, I, in in my opinion, I I don't think I I think they got the the system wrong, and the personnel. Let's be honest. 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 Let's be now I think mm-hmm. the only two games where I th- I thought it worked and probably looked good for me was only against Pirates and Baroga away. To be honest with you, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, no. Otherwise, no man. I I I don't agree with the coaches. 
guy that selection. There are like we, we always say this. There are games where Mvala will be needed, like away go wherever in Africa or away go and the stadium. Where he will be assigned to do a job on someone. There are games where a player like Mutu Mvala will be needed, and he he will be played, and I will understand. But there are games where. Look! Look how 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 we played as soon as we went off, and we played with the four attackers. More fluid, more fluid. It 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 is. Yeah. Sometimes they make um they make things very difficult for themselves. Yeah. Uh, but I wanna also ask you something with regards to that and uh, the selection. Do you think it's a deliberate thing that they're doing? Or, uh, we just don't go gung ho like in the first half, like. We we remain compact and sort of like a bit resistant and have the team like punch itself to tiredness and then kill off the game the second half, like unleash our attackers the second half and kill off the game the second half. Do you think it's deliberate? Like like you said before we started shooting, you said that we we have many ways of of killing our our prey and that's one of the ways like we could you, you can say okay let's contain let's see what this team's about especially especially the five rules up helps us a lot yes. let's see uh what this team's about contain them and then tire them tire them because again half and then you bring in your Romino, Skapinga, domingo we are in future and you're right it, it could be it could be but that's that's for me, maybe that's a game coach. <laughs> yes, that's and and that's that's being a bit that's being very pragmatic. That's not being forward thinking and saying we have the best players in the country, and we believe in our coaching. Let's 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 put out our best players and blow this team apart and then make changes. Because again, now it's like Rakonte in Africa first half, like you say, and then you try to blow teams uh, quality off the bench. Because second half, I wish we did the I so we could, like we did. Uh, uh, the 16. first 16. Yes. we used to beat teams in the first yes. 25 minutes, and we, we, there were we games where we scored two goals, cover stuff, and score nothing as I can have, but just like exactly, play. exactly. <laughs> a, a lot, boy. A, a, like, like we went through, we could blow you a part car the first 20 minutes, then for yeah. 70 minutes of the game, I would bore you to death, would bore you to death, and then you knew the subs, like. Once we score, that's again half. Castro doesn't come out sometimes. Sometimes, 56 minutes, he comes out and Tico comes in. Or Kama goes out. Le Castro, Jose Natico, Le Anthony Lafort. And yep. we still have the pace. I mean, yeah, um, I, think, I think the way we're doing it now is a bit, it's a bit risky. And another yeah, thing that I was asking myself is, if it wasn't for the five subs, do you think we would be doing what we're doing now? Like we... <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. The, the five subs allows the coaches to do what they're doing now. If, if if it stops next season, and then they'll have to rethink their strategy. I don't think it 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 it, it, it will be feasible to to do that. Just, yes, because, just... because you have to. Because if you're back to three subs, you have to save one sub for a defender to close off the game, and two subs. Who do you bring on? You have Pinga, who's a game changer. You have Kelezo, who's a game changer. You, you don't Romeo. start Romeo. <laughs> you have Romeo on the bench. Exactly. You know what I mean? I mean, so you have a gift Mutupa on the bench. So um, I, I wonder, hey, I wonder. Like, I think and if we were to go back to three subs, I think we, we, we might see a bit more risk taking. I think now, our coaches um and make certain decisions knowing that you know what we have five subs we have quality we have, we have quality in the style we, we can throw on three now and then put in one and then one in the 87th minute and I, I i don't know i have i have this thing that our coaches it's 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 not wrong what they're doing is not wrong but it's it's i guess they think about they really, really think about the opposition strength and how we played against them the previous time. I remember, um, give me thing. I can't remember. Even today, they remember or the last time Baroka beat us. Oh, Celtic. 
the last time Baroka beat us, it was from a set piece. Now, mm. what's our best way of dealing with Baroka set pieces is playing uh, Mentor, Wusa, uh, Riva, and Mutoli. That's four players. I remember the presser, the post match presser, Coach Mangova was actually saying, I don't remember the last time we had so much height in a Sundown mm-hmm. starting 11. And like the men were salivating as he was talking about that. So he can the be, it was deliberate. Like if Avanza was, was fully fit, he was starting that day. You know? And like I said, they, they did the same. Um, they played Toby because in the MTN 8, we had lost Cassette Peace against. I wonder what it, does that play a part in their planning? Or okay, this is one's Barjila, so what do we do to counter it? Rather, rather than let's play our best players and let's like, yeah, but I can you call now. Dennis will deal with them, Musa will deal with But in terms of Hodlala, they will, 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 will pick them apart. I wonder what they buy, buy Nahanavia. Oh, and they're trying to find balance, I guess. Yeah, I get you. I get I get your your concern because it's like we are. Oh, we actually mentioned this at the beginning of the season, Hori. It it seems like we are. Um, we are thinking more of our opponents and how to deal with what they're bringing more than caring about like our style of play and whatnot. Yeah, and I think there's a there's there's, there's something where. Shulani said something about like uh, it's not about like style of play or something, but like I don't want to misquote him because he. I, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, I think he said something like that. But yeah, man. Um, he was he was listening to uh, Jose Mourinho or something uh, where Jose was saying, uh these days um, it's very it, 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 it's teams don't have a set style of play like he leads United fell and NBL so who play the same way I think I think I think we're talking about the same thing right oh yes, yes. Talking... so today it's it's very um difficult to find teams or no that's that's uh team a that's team B it's people game by game they mix up their their tactics formation and yeah but yeah the basics are the same yeah well, what do you make of of this game this game, mm. I'm not happy with first half, um, performance at first half, not fluid. We didn't, I think, but was a better team, in fact, in the first half. They had the clear opportunity where, um, except like a man, she had scored. Masia, Masia, I know he is, she ah, that boy is a baller, and he's, he's, our, he's our product as well. For not, from our is it from, from yes. our, our academy? Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yes, okay, okay. And then there was that one where Lyle lost the ball, Kofa, Kofa, the next year corner flag by Mutiel, and then they crossed for, I think it was Masia Hape or, or the other one. And then saved. So in the first half, you could say Baroka were, had the better opportunities. We had one where I think Gaston, would have the responsibility. Who, the one he gave to Shalulil. Yes. But Gaston posted Gaston, that ball. Nine out of ten he, times, Gaston posted that ball. <laughs> <laughs> true. If, if you know him, true. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah absolutely. I've, right. I've seen him play that type of assist for Kumshishi and for Ovila. Ovila. And I've also uh, yeah. seen him score. I've also seen him score that goal against Chiba Honako of Tasi, like Kudi Paling I've seen him. Yeah, score. Yes, yeah. I remember. I remember. But I, yeah, but I, I think that was our only clear cut chance, even though it was called offside. Like. If had scored that, you was gonna be so pissed because it was it was, it it was, was offside. It was, it was left like it was just behind the ball. Yeah. So, nah, I, yeah. I wasn't happy with our first half performance because man, I like to look like you know, we, like Nere Ala boy. Like there were so many instances where we played nice one touches. Like at, at one point, like we looked like Rashabadi Rondo drill. Then. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, because of Mutobi's luck, clear Yeah. He, he was at the end of of the move. I, and I said, and I was like, oh, the gallery <laughs> is gonna have him for dinner. The yeah. gallery is gonna have him. <laughs> yeah, right. because because if you don't win, like... those type of moves, people will go back and say, you see. Yeah. yeah. True. True. But yeah, we we. But my thing, we didn't threaten um, Chipazazi enough in that first half. And I, I agree with you, we had some nice passing uh, moves in, in the final third, but but we didn't we didn't have, like you said, 
most of them tell that decisive pass you to come to be unfortunately he missed control or pass to the opposition or committed the ball or so yeah um not a good first half second half after eight minutes they saw nah, come on it's not working it's not working but in time I mean, from you and you changed the game for me you changed like every he took our performance from here to here even yeah. Aston looked better um, uh, Shalulia looked better um, Lyle looked better um, every, the team looked better when uh, Romeo came in even Mshishi who's, who's been having a run of, uh, of games he, he looked he looked better than he's looked in the past games and I wonder who uh, they leave him on to play like the, the entire game just for his confidence to be back because it looked like we had, we, had, we might score another goal yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I would have, I would have sat in now if I was a coach, but it looks like the coach have better, have uh, better understanding, and maybe they wanted to, the manager got a goal, so that he, his confidence is more ready. Mm. He, he didn't play too, too well today. Yeah, but in the second half, it, it was much better than than, much than better. it was in the first half. Yeah, yeah, it was much better. Only thing I can tell you was uh, positive for me in the first half. Was was um, Nascimento? Oh, Nascimento was praying them. Yes, as he was praying them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he attempted like I don't. I'm not sure of all of of these tests to talk, uh, Like we'll probably see them on uh, or uh, I forgot the other account. Um, yeah, but what I can tell you that I saw is that I think he attempted five passes, and uh, I think it's only one that was intercepted. All of them. Landed to Peter, Gaston, Habedi, and one to Ma, either Mabue or Blesser. But like, he's, he's passing in the in the first half. Like, you know, you want to play out. Like, sometimes, like, you just have to think it ahead, um, to pass the midfield and just go to the final third. But of course, that's not our style of play. But sometimes you get a goal out of that, yeah, and then you play well. But, I think Asimendo was was so good uh, in the first half, and then in the second half he was much better. Like he even pulled off one blunder from the like he pulled up. Yeah. yeah, I think Nascimento was was so good as well today. Um, I'll tell you who my favorites were today. Like my our best, best performance catch it when we do. Even but even even Musa in the second half where we were out angry in the second half after when we, after we went to tunnel up like we opened Gomara like we didn't press as much and then Baroka yeah. had a couple of shots and Lewusa was there too he was he was he was very good like, Lewusa was good yeah, he, was helped, good. he helped to keep things clean sheet yes um, I think we can go into the ratings we, we, we can go into oh. the ratings um, my I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this because Denise is there. My man of the match is Denise. Is Denise, uh, second best performer for me. Um, ble- uh, okay, let me say Nascimento. I'm, I'm changing my mind now. A little blesser, but I'm changing my mind now. Nascimento, maybe it's a tie between Nascimento and Blesser, and then River. I think these guys had a very good game today. Lesa, yeah, right. Mento, Riva, uh, and Onyango. I think these guys like were, were on top of their game today. But I like, you know, I, 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 a lot of people say Lesa is good, but like he needs like uh, more. He needs to assist more. He needs to score more. And even Coach Pito used to say this. Um, I was speaking to one of his teammates as well, who said, uh, uh, "I don't want to name drop." <laughs> he said, mm-hmm. "He said." Lesa needs uh, uh, Lesa so good. Like if he gets goals, people will start talking about him. And I agree because um, I brought this up because in my head I always have this thing where people say like uh, I've seen the country where people say like Tito Mbule is ahead. Uh, I'm have even gone as far as saying no, but is ahead of Lesa. And I was like, I, I think you guys are crazy. Like uh, what, respect, what respectfully, you respectfully, I think you are crazy. <laughs> yeah. Please. You see, yeah, so uh, um, I was speaking to one of his teammates, Ule, Are, are you see, if Bessa scores more, 
tools that probably seeing him or and I couldn't have agreed more uh okay but miss um uh, because he was my man of the match I'm going to give him an 8 this was so good today I can argue with that especially like he first uh, one mistake Ella where he must timed um Nako got the long throw in yes. with the chance that was meant to hit it off the line. But he fetched in the cross, the corner tabo or na he was commanding and did the saves he called. He deserves his eight. He deserves yeah. his eight. Uh Lyle. Mm, okay. Okay. The only yeah. thing about Lyle. The only thing about Lyle. Africa copied. Yeah, and I've always said this about him. He second guesses himself. Mm. He second guesses. And I think maybe it's because he might not have like the blistering pace. And I think most of the time he just doesn't want to lose the ball or make a mistake. He second guesses himself. Um, not so good. Um, first half, like um, his decision making was not so good uh, the way we're used to him. But in the second half, he definitely improved. Um, Lyle has a wicked delivery and he's got a very good ball on him. Um, a six? Yeah, I agree. A mento? Seven. Amorop? Amorop. Okay, you rate, you rate Mento, Kulisi, uh, your, your best players, you rate them. I say Denise A. Mm. Say Mento 7.5. I say Mkulisi somewhere between a 6.5 and a 7 because I don't want to feel like I'm overstating his performance, but I don't want to downplay. <laughs> I, I, I thought he was brilliant. He was my man of the match, so I think yeah. that's from Rob. I thought Rob. he was brilliant. I thought he, yeah, he took the ball from midfield, like he did what Mkulisi is. is Remember that game go even be like when you first saw him where he collected the ball in midfield and carried it into the final third. He was doing that, that game. Day. He he changed that game that day. Like we were like, not winning that game if it wasn't for him. When he came exactly. on, Ston just switched on because we didn't have Temba exactly. that day, remember. Uh-huh. Yeah. So um, okay, I let's think go we could can rate him the same as Nasimen to seven point five. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And then who um, else did you say I must also rate? It was just the Magervali three. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. You can read uh, Libusa. Libusa, um, because of those two, because of that second half, I think I thought it was very good. I'll, I'll give him a seven. A seven. Mm, the ratings today. <laughs> uh, I think Lebu was poor today. Yes, yes, he was poor today. He was poor. Like, and he was caught, he was caught napping like twice in the second half. Three or three or two or three times, yeah, right. Three, yeah. Two or three times. Um, he looked, yeah, he didn't look like the Kafu that we, we <laughs> like the Kafu we've, we've been witnessing in the past two, three weeks. He, yeah. looked, he looked, he didn't look on it today. Yeah, no, um, there, was, there was one ball you got right, one ball way. He went to the Kofa post where Rumi hit the post. That was the only good delivery. Oh, yes, yes, did. yes, yes. That was, that was a so, big good deliver. Yeah. So for that, I think I'll give you a five. Five. Uh, if for for all his was as bad as the other one. No, the one for four point five. Okay, four point five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, best six in the in this country and arguably, arguably on the continent. You know this thing. I don't. Now I'll be honest. It started as a joke. But it's no longer a joke. It's serious. No busy guy. No busy at all because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Day, we premiere you there. <laughs> no, Alu Alu Deng hasn't been playing. I can tell how many games. They didn't even start one game in the Club World Cup. No, tell me now. Pizza had Pizza had River. If if fit River and Alu Deng at the Club World Cup, who was playing? Who was starting? Ricardo. Yesterday, 100 touches, 95 percent. Yeah, against the team from Sudan, ne? Or Rwanda? Rwanda is clear as the best six on the continent. No, it's arguable. Okay, we can say on the continent it's arguable, but 
in the Sadak region. I come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, Even that Bisuma but, boy, people are raving about Go Brighton. Not anywhere close uh, to yeah, no, 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 guys, no guys. Are being serious? Seven. He was the man of the match. Yeah, he pushes the game, but he's more William Chong. <laughs> okay, Mtomim uh, Val. Three. Yeah, I agree. Mtomim Val is a three for me as well. Um, Gaston. This one can have a quick game, but find a way to score or assist. It will affect a game. That's wow. One first thing that Gaston is one first thing that I really like very much. Like, he'll have. What's going on? He'll have a a a a poor game, poor sixty minutes, but all of a sudden something will happen and he'll 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 switch it on just like that, and he did yeah. today. Yeah, he was he was lucky with that goal because he didn't open his body enough or he didn't put enough of a kill on it. Like I think with Tuteguri, he possessed earlier, and I think he could have done better to, to, yes. to stop that. Yes. Thank God he didn't, but he didn't even he didn't put an, enough of a kill on it. Yeah, like, sure. I, I I literally fell on the floor. Give it to me. Such a good job. Hey, nigga, why say you? You see, if we hadn't scored there, yo, I believe we were gonna get a goal. Get a goal, nah. You want? Because I think it deflated Sparrow. Because Sparrow got away. I think it deflated them that goal. Hmm. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, Gaston, a goal, another goal. Um, six, six point five. Six. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a sixteen. What a what a what a player! What a game changer! Like, Gaston man, man, Gaston on a grey area, man. <laughs> it's annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> it's really so, annoying. He's so, good. he's so good. Like, we knew Hori. Um, as soon as Abu walked into full fitness, like, someone was gonna drop out. He, he's that good. As as, as good as. The, the front three were at the beginning of the season, but as soon as Gaston came back, we knew that Kemit Gaston... was Kemit was <laughs> yeah, yeah. already so eating eyes. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> poor first staff for me. Poor, 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 poor first, uh, first staff. Uh, he yeah, was, he was, was nowhere. Now, what did you say he was doing? Systematically doing the wrong things, something like that. It's a, Football he starts one systematically doing the wrong stuff in the, <laughs> in the in the in the first half, but in the second half he he improved. He improved. He when Gaston was dropping deep, he was trying to drop deep and I link up and I saw that they can, can start playing. But I, I'm worried about Mushishi's form. I don't know. I don't know if he can play through this or animal benching one game to come back. I don't know. Are you not worried? No, I think. Mshishi will will only get, regain his form if we pick with a midfield two and play front four because I think all the pressure at Rohamoyena and then there's a Kemet, there's a Sharuli doing the running, there's a Gaston creating, there's him creating. Obviously, you still have the Etapel or Maboy coming, Elal coming. I think with one more creative player, it will uh, we, we might see the best of Mshishi. <laughs> You, you talk a lot of sense because that was that's what happened in the first in the second half when mm. we dropped into a, two, into a two man midfield and four attackers. Later he improved them because, like, I noticed something when at the start when Mushishi got the ball, like you, you could see two or three Baroka players immediately. Like they didn't they didn't give him a chance to turn and to make us try to make us play or try to make us dance. No, immediately that's what I bought. There were three players on him, so maybe with with with. With um, an extra attacker, he'll have more space to play because other, other otherwise other other players will be free and not all punished. If you put yeah. two or three in one player, Kemet will, will be there to punish you. So yeah, five. Yeah, I agree with you. There, I agree with you. Um, any goal, a season striker. Yeah, yeah. Although, <laughs> although the score was said, how did he miss that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, like I've seen Mishishi miss like that, Marayana Ikoro. Like the first goal when we beat Pirates six six nil. 
It's that's, what happen, that's what happened to Mshishi. Like, mm-hmm. tried to hit it first time, and then like he just put it on top, cuffed it on top, and then he, and what is it? Like he, I think, but because Jensen was slower, because Ezra was quick today. But yeah, you know, I'm glad even um, uh, Kush Mangova mentioned it. Uri, really, like you can see, Uri, it's raw talent. You know, I think I read somewhere Uri, but he really only started playing football like at the age of. Uh, 17 or 18, I forgot. Really? Really? Yeah, and then, like he's only 26. So Shanuli hasn't been playing football. Like for Temba, we sent Temba when he was like 20 and gonna turn 21 or something like that. And really, like. <laughs> no, just said, like, send your money there and still late late. Yes. Hey, but like, yeah, with money, you can see. It. Yeah, but with Shanuli, like, there are certain finishes, like, when you look at them, when you look at them, after Haiza, like, the way he finished against. Black leopards, like he, his reaction when the ball ricocheted off the defender or the goalkeeper was so quick. Mara, like, imagine you, like he gets that chance, and you like, how do you not do what you did against leopards? But I think Leana, he's one of those. Like, remember Ilan Pella, like used to like miss like four sitters and score one brilliant goal, and you like, what does this guy yeah. do? Yeah. I think it's like Shaluli. I think, yeah, but the thing about Shaluli, he'll always be excused for over great and what he does as well. And another thing about him is that he always finds, like, he always finds himself in the red pocket. In, in the red position, too. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Oh, um, Seven. For oh, Shaluli. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're done with the Yeah, we're done. Give me the last month. Change the game for me. 7.5 for me. Change the game. Mm. One assist for, 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 for Gaston's goal was involved in. In Shalilil's goal, hit the, hit the, 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 the post. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> he outperformed. He outperformed Shaluli, Le, Temba, Gaston. He outperformed the front three when he came on. Yeah, but you know we mustn't make it a thing. Yeah, we like he must start the next game. Or I'm not saying he mustn't start, but I'm just saying, you know how the game is sometimes. Uh, when you come on, you will you might do better than everyone who started, but you might start the next game and not do it like this. So I think let's just not make it a copy and paste thing because. Sometimes it's your day. Sometimes uh, some pe- some people is not their day. I remember after Leopards, some people were even saying, "Emmet must sit on the bench." This and that after the Leopards game, because Shaluli really changed the game. Today he changed the game. So I think we must just accept that some games, it, it, some people will be off. Mm-hmm. Some Wimbala. Some days, some people will be off. Algeria uh, pull an eight out of ten to Wimbala. So <laughs> you never know. Yeah, but like, yeah, I'm happy with what Kemet did. Um, who came on? Kapinga and Domingo. No, no, uh, Morena first. Oh, Morena first, yeah. I didn't even see Morena. Uh, he yeah. came on and Mabue went to midfield, ne? Yeah. Mm, uh, I didn't see much of him. Yeah, he did okay. Five. <laughs> no move. <laughs> and then, okay, yeah. Kapinga and Domingo. I think one thing I want to say is that uh, Domingo, like, uh, you can see he's a, still a bit jittery. Like, we were saying before we started shooting, before we started recording, that Binga, like, uh, he's had two or three games that have boosted his confidence and he's a bit more settled now. Uh, people used to like used to like saying, Hore, certain players in the box, like, but, but like, but it's like amazing. Like, they are so calm. Like, Kao was one one such player. Um, Villa is that type of player. Surprise was that type of player. When Pinga started coming on, uh, he used to be uh, an example on Yibile. Like he used to uh, be jittery, but not anymore. Uh, he's looking so good. Yes. He's sure of himself. Yes, he's, he's sure of himself now. And uh, hey, let me change this laptop before it switches off on me. So. I think Domingo needs uh, a goal contribution or two, and then I think he will be be okay. I think Domingo will be okay. Mpanola, you can see his touches. Mpanola with the ball. He will be okay. He'll definitely yeah. be okay. 
Yeah, I, I just don't I think, think they, they they played enough to get a rating. A rating, yeah. I I hope, but you, you never know. I hope, but they should they're good enough. Negra, I hope next week got a cup game. I hope they both start. Bingale, Le Domingo. Domingo, yeah. Ahead of who? They're, they're good enough to beat Bolivar City. If they're not good enough, then. I don't oh yeah, no, no, no. You're right. You're right, boy. <laughs> I forgot who was the who's the who's the opponent. I forgot. I, I think a pool one city you can actually rest. Uh, okay, maybe now would start. I would play Mshishi just for a confidence boost. Like I think if Mshishi can play against Pulugwane, but the thing is that if you play against Pulugwane and have a bad game, you are hoping exactly. the confidence exactly. goes further down. So yeah. I guess like do you, do you rest him to, to remind him that you are a big dog. You can play against Pulugwane yeah. and his confidence comes. Rest. What Lara called Jerry, so just rest him, just trust him, Shalu, play Romeo, those those two. Make make a couple of changes. Play AJ. Where is is Kelly fit? Yeah, because on that um thing Oh the Jerry, yeah, he wasn't there. Only, only Brian Onyango and uh well or two players fell out. Two good. Yeah, and Bluey fell out were on that list. So even expect even what she are on so. Hey, man, now you know I don't like wholesale changes too. Hey, wholesale changes bigger ones than the crowd. Yeah, you did disrupt the team, you know. But I'm thinking, mm-hmm. but I think I'm thinking we should, you know, give them if uh, our officials against. Look, what's this number? Go, 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 go. Good little friend. Yeah, Karen, boy. I think play them so that when they're needed, when we have an injury. They are, they are, they are, they are ready to go. I like for the top. Go to Chicago, go to South Africa. The top. We should, we should have a squad to make changes and make them. True. Like and now, uh, I'm expecting to see Ricardo Goss. I'm expecting to see a day before the Rook. I'm expecting to see um. I'm expecting to see Obrimudiva. I'm expecting to see Katinga. Uh, the way you said that Domingo, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right, boy. Like, we can make those changes against Borobo. We should, we should be good enough to beat them. We yeah. should be. Yeah. Even start so, giving yeah. Duba. You know, I'm a Romeo master. Romeo master and, 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 and start pad. <laughs> That's okay, hit three. Yeah, but yeah... I, it was a good game. It was a good game today. Um, the coaches, boy. Oh, the coaches. You want to read them? No. Six point five. Mm, 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 mm. That's harsh, yo. Yeah. I will take it. What's one? Our Tlamangani is there, and then he he's still gonna edit this thing. And she was uh, we are babies. Yeah, he's putting all rating, so yeah. Yeah. No, but yeah, all in all, uh, happy with the result. We could do better in terms of like our play, uh, not dominant enough, but yeah, the we we've played more we've played we are we're left with uh, less games than we've played for to finish the season. And I was telling now the other day for the first round, the first half of the season, coaches have passed because the target is always 30, and 30 points and above, they got the 30 points. So, we are looking good so far. We're looking good. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The only way not to win is to bottle the league, which I thought we will. Yeah, no one, we won't. Um, I heard they are off to Algeria tomorrow. Tomorrow is, what, Thursday? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I go clear the complete as well, so that's what's happening tomorrow, so yeah. Safe travels and best of luck. Hope they come back with eight least, eight least a point. <laughs> and it's like a win. <laughs> yeah, no. I hope, I hope, I hope for a win. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you guys. Uh, Champions League, uh, and then again for NetBank Cup. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, adios.